African Post Office has announced that it will be closing 235 more post offices in 2024, leading to additional job cuts. This was confirmed by Minister of Communications and Digital Technologies, Mundling Gungubelem, during a recent parliamentary Q&A session, where he also confirmed imminent further layoffs. This brings the overall number of closures to over 500 since the implementation of SAPO's business rescue plan, which aims to save 1.3 billion rand in annual salaries. The struggling state-owned entity reports indicate that around 6,000 employees, accounting for 40% of its workforce, have already been laid off due to financial constraints and additional 7,000 jobs are at risk. Economics professor at the University of Northwest, Waldo Krichel, shares his perspective on this matter. The news that 235 more post office branches will be closed this year is a blow for employees. It's not clear how many jobs are at stake, but the post office earlier revealed that about 6,000 employees have already been retrenched in the closure of about a third of their branches. At the macro level, these numbers will not move the needle on the total unemployment rate, but it will have a significant impact on those employees, their dependents, and the local economies where they used to spend their salaries. In my view, the hope of rescuing the post office in its current form is dimming. From a commercial point of view, the economy has already changed significantly. Modern technology has changed communication and in the future there will be even less mail. Private courier services have supplanted the post office role in delivering parcels. From a public point of view, the post office branch network and the reach into poor communities used to be touted as a big advantage, but this has shrunk significantly. I cannot see a reason why the taxpayer needs to keep the post office open.